honorable teachers, my seniors, fellow classmates and juniors. We are Team Black Diamonds. I, Jaya Mohit, is my second year BS Honours and I will be supported by Mahi Faisal, second year BS Honours. And we will talk about major extinctions of geological time scale in this presentation competition of Petromania Resurrection powered by Dhaka University SPE student chapter. So before getting into our main topic, let us have a look what uh, are the contents that we will cover in this short span of time. First of all, prologue, then abstract, then paramount events. Well, the earth has experienced lots of uh, extinction events since its birth, but the few events are really notable and significant in terms of their high level of uh, removal of species. Those events will be here in this paramount events and finally the epilogue or the conclusion. Now, the question is, what is extinction? Extinction is basically an event which suggests the rapid decrease of animal or species due to the sudden change of atmosphere or the environment. And uh, obviously, if we've got any sort of fossil records of them, then, then we will be able to tell how the life has been evaluated since the birth of the Earth. And that has been the second thing of our this uh, presentation, the importance of understanding extinction events. Uh, it also gives us about uh, some clues how planets, the atmosphere, the environment has changed. Well, uh, this is a uh, geological time scale. We have uh, five, we'll talk about five million extinctions, and uh, that is the part of our second part, abstract. Well, uh, we're starting with the end ordination extinction, uh, trial of a family, and uh, Bradford genus has uh, extinct among, and those are the examples of the life has extinct during this time. Then lead devonian extinction trial by Selenotelpis, where one of those animals or one of those species that was extinct during this late devonian extinction. Then tri Jurassic extinction, Cynodon, a predator of mammals, got extinct during this time, and Holocene extinction that's occurring till now. And this graph shows how the extinction rate decreases. As you can see in the lower portion, it's the time and it's the extinction rate. They retain Ordovician, Lake Devonian, and Permian, and Ed Cretaceous, and Ed Triassic as well. Those are the major extinctions that occur in the Earth since its birth. Well, now the main part of our presentation is the paramount events. We will start with Permian Triassic extinction. It occurred nearly 252 million years ago, and due to the high amount of animal removal, it is also regarded as the Great Dying. Uh, if we talk about the loss of life, 96% of species got disappeared, 52% families, among them reptiles, amphibians, and insects were as well. Uh, those are the illustration, illustration that shows us uh, what happened during the extinction time. Now, the thing is, what happened on, the, on that time that this extinction happened? So the most popular and accepted hypothesis are the impact of volcanoes. That says that the huge amount of volcanoes got uh, poured out in the Earth's surface through the fissures for a certain period of time, due to the volcanic debris, the sunlight has been restricted, triggering the ice age. And as you can know, that uh, the volcanoes are uh, in acidic type, so that makes the oceans acidic. And of course, the scorching heat that made the earth totally impossible to live. Up to you, Max. Let's talk about previous tertiary extinctions, the most popular one thanks to the dinosaurs and the movies. Happened 66 million years ago. Uh, the dinosaur went extinct, but the mammals survived. But there are many hypotheses about the incidents, and the most important one being the meteor impact theory. Now, we are going to talk about how a meteor impact can trigger a mass, mass extinction event. Let's put things into perspective. Fatman, the atomic bomb detonated in uh, Nagasaki was exploded with 20,000 tons of TNT equivalent energy. Why? A uh, 30 meter wide meteorite can explode with 300,000 tons of TNT equivalent energy. Can you imagine the destruction? A 10 kilometer wide meteorite can bring to the environment. This type of this type of impact can cause huge shockwave, tidal waves of unimaginable at magnitude, and then send tremendous amount of dust into the atmosphere. This occurrence can, this occurrence can block the sunlight for years, create huge forest fires, and, and change the climate of our environment. 
within a short period of time, thus challenge, thus making the environment, thus making the environment challenging for the survival of our species. The evidence of meter impact is quite prominent as we can find unusually high level of iridium in the rock layers dated back to the dated back to the uh, dated back to the Cretaceous and Paleogene layer, the uh, uh, level of lithium is 160 times higher than the usual. And the other uh, evidence is very common, very uh, unique quartz crystal. They form in high pressure and temperature, and this type of pressure and temperature can only be achieved in nuclear testing sites or meteor impact. Now, nuclear bomb were weren't there how millions of years ago. So that when we only use the weak meteor craters. Now, at the uh, dusk of our presentation, the epilogue, extinction events have always been an uh, important part of geological history, shaping the evolution of life. Let's talk about humans. Can we imagine our uh, coexistence with dinosaurs? Impossible. The extinction of dinosaurs, uh, with the extinction of dinos dinosaurs, the mammal role. And uh, why? <coughs> extinction of dinosaurs, the mammal role. And the nature has always been so uh, so unforgivable, unforgivable, and he does with human just food. And when the human always rules the world and survive. So with our but with our self-destructive nature and the unforgivable wrath of human nature, can the humanity survive another mass extinction? The only the time will tell. Thank you, everyone.